For refugees stranded in Idomeni, each day means waiting. For food, a doctor, or for news about how to continue their journey. This man from Syria has spent more than a month in the makeshift camp. Hope and optimism are keeping him here, but for how much longer, he doesn't know. Today, tomorrow, after tomorrow... <coughs> this woman from Syria has almost given up. She's only waiting for the summit of the EU and Turkey, she says. Then she wants to apply for asylum here in Greece. Where do you want to go? I go if the Macedonia no open in Athena. Daily buses to Athens are becoming an increasingly popular way out and a new business model for private tour operators. Greek authorities are now offering alternatives to Idomeni, but humanitarian aid organizations have criticized the fact that there's little information provided for the refugees. The Greek government has come out through the police uh, information leaflets telling the people here in different languages that the border is now closed. Uh, cooperate with us to be taken to a refugee camp uh, where you'll be looked after shelter, health uh, and other facilities in that sense. What I didn't say was where, when and how that will be done. But for the majority of refugees, cooperation with authorities is not an option. Many are afraid of being sent back to Turkey. And so alternative makeshift camps are highly sought after. While Greek authorities do little to change the situation of those stranded in Idomeni, private aid is making a difference. The owner of this gas station offers his property to those looking for better accommodation. Sleeping next to the fuel dispenser might seem awkward at first glance. But for Abdulaziz Duhan from Syria, quality of life has increased dramatically after having spent a week in the squalor of Idomeni, together with more than 10,000 other refugees. Actually, I was waiting with them and determined to wait with them, but the situation and the running forced us to move. So if we, if we steal in the border, we were waiting with them. But because that uh, maybe somebody don't have a lot of hope, about the future and about the border, moving from the border, like us. Abdulaziz and his family have given up hope to continue their journey via the Balkan route. They have now applied for relocation within the European Union. Any country in Europe is good for them, they say. All they want is a life and safety and to get away from the Greek-Macedonian border.